everyone, this is Mr. Ha. With me is our everyone's favorite insane fireman, Slurth. Hi. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and cover our uh, war with KCCL. This is our top TH8 attack. Uh, this is gonna be Krishna's attack on their 32, and he's gonna be using a mass drag. All right, send it in a couple of drags there to create the funnel. I like the way he does the funnel too. He starts in the most outmost buildings. So there's not much chance that it can go too terribly wrong from there. Looks like he's sending in those balloons kind of early though, early, I think. Yeah. Got the CC coming out. Balloons are still safe. Uh, they're going to get in there. They're going to do a lot of damage nice and early though. Lucky for him, all the AD are right there in the core. Right. You know, I've noticed uh, Krishna, he's actually been uh, the six-star club a few times, I think. I know he's been doing pretty well for himself. I think he has, and the, the triple rage is getting a lot more popular than, I guess he used two rages over, uh, over the triple lightning recently. It's funny, man. I, we have so many of these mass drag vids, like you would think that no one could ever screw these up. But, you know what happens. Well, you know, it's easy to blame the dragon AI for your own inept abilities. Inept abilities? Inept abilities. Isn't it ineptitudes? Ineptitude. Ineptitudes, right? Yeah, I got distracted. <laughs> I want to say ineptness, ineptness, and I didn't think that was right. Yeah, I don't think that's right either. It's like saying legitly. Strategery. That's right. So, looking pretty good. Uh, dragons. Tons of dragons left. That's, you know, that's not something I normally see with these attacks. Normally it's like down to two or three. But wow, that's a lot of dragons left. So, you know, he really got his strategy down right there. Yeah, that's good. I usually end up with one dragon. Hanging on for dear life. <laughs> Three stars. Excellent attack, Krishna. All right, who's our top TH9, you think? Who? Not me. You TH9? You're TH9 now, huh? Yeah, man, jeez. I totally forgot about that. I know, I forgot. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> um, and it's Chris. And, oh, okay. So Chris here, he's going to go with the Hogo Wee Wee. Which has been uh, very popular ever since Carol and Farsh have been doing it. Start off with the golem, but he's following up the golem with the wizards here. You know, normally I see Carol and Farsh, they follow up their golems with witches. Got the wall breakers out. Here come those witches. I like when they get the witches in early and see them in the back, plenty of time to get the skeletons up. You know, this base right here, it doesn't look too uh, different from the one I got no stars on last war. So it's really interesting to see a TH9 TIG on a TH10 like this. Mm -hmm. It was good. For, that was a good jump placement to span that, that whole center ring right into the core. And I noticed that he's going after the uh, single shot Inferno first rather than multi shot. Man, look at those uh, CC troops. They're really hammering away at that golem right there. Yeah, what, uh, well, the queen was on the other side. That might have been his decision based off of where the queen was at to go opposite her. Uh, Multi's going, doing its job, taking out all his troops right there. But he's got the two star, so that's all that matters right there. Up that high, that seems to be what's most important. Well, that queen's looking pretty good at the. Bob, the base right there. She's, She's at full life. Those two witches. Man, twenty level twenty three. That's higher than what I have. Yeah, Are you washing your clothes right much. now? I can hear. I think I can hear like a dryer on your side. Is that the dryer going that's, on? That's the dryer. Yeah. Oh, okay, I was gonna say, man, that's a wash. You have an unbalanced load. <laughs> I'm washing a comforter. Oh. 
I got tennis balls in there with it. Tennis balls? Yeah, man. Oh. That you, and that's two stars. That way your, job, uh, your blanket doesn't get all clumped up then. Ah, offering great uh, laundry advice here. Yeah. All right. Top tier extent, who is it? Ooh, wait, that was tier extent. Top tier extent? Well, who's the top tier extent? Yeah, our tier extent, who is it? Oh, it's not, uh, it's not you this round. I don't think it's me. Who do you think it is? Uh, uh, Carol. Oh, oh, jeez, man. Carol's name at TH10. Okay, Ryan Mack. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, okay, Ryan. All right, so he's going to come at this with a quad lava loon. Uh, classic setup, but he's starting this one off with minions on top. Trying to pick off all those stray buildings, because, you know, this base right here, it's got max defenses. So, you know, the chances of getting two stars are actually pretty slim with a quad lava loon, but, you know, he's got those high-level heroes right there that are going to really help him out. So I like how his lavas right there are pulling all the red balloons out because those are the biggest, um, I would say, damage dealers to balloons. All right, those lavas didn't last too long though. Look at that. He dropped his freeze a little early. Balloons are all over the core, looking pretty good. In general, There's two max ADs there. If you're freeze, yeah, you freeze, you want to wait until it starts giving you a little bit of damage before you drop it. You know, for me, I like to drop the freeze when the infernos are targeting my balloons. You know, I, I say let those lavas die. You know, that's exactly what they're supposed to be doing anyways. But a lot of people like to drop it really early on uh, just because it kind of freaks them out. Like, oh crap, you know, mm. let's try to keep these lavas alive longer. I like how the BK just pulled on both uh, giant bombs right there because those things, man, they, they can really ruin, you know, your AQ's uh, HP level right there. And he can ruin a party pretty quick. And he's quick. got minions over there. Yep. Oh, those minions are going to last that AD right there. Okay. King doing a great job tanking for the queen. He's activated the abilities a little early there. Town Hall's down. Two stars. Great job, Ryan Mech. Or I should say Ryman. Or should I say Tong? Multi. Mul multiple names. He's a man of many names. <laughs> Okay, and then uh, got both expos working there, and that's it. Two stars. Great job, Ryan Mech 15. And that wraps it up for this video here. Thank you so much, Slurth. You betcha. And thank you guys for watching. We will see you guys next time.